Hey girls, this is Jenny with Planner Perfect, and in today's video, another plan with me. Stay tuned. Okay, I have got my A5 July cover, and I'm going to plan my first, you know, Kind of like real week in July. I've got my supplies that I'll need. I'm going to stay with a patriotic theme. So I have um, this nice light blue from a Faber-Castell. It's a pit pen. I really like it. I'm using the, I don't think I want to use this one. I'm going to use this one, which is an older pen of mine. I think it says 885. And I like to do my weather, so I always get for a cloudy day and a sunny day. This is good for if there's any rain. This beautiful from Right Tech, this retractable highlighter, this pale pink, I love. So I'm going to use that for any kind of highlight. And then, of course, I'm using the Right Tech liquid roller pens right now, and I'm digging them. I also got my washi tape that came in the box. Very patriotic and amazing. I got my stickers on hand, as well as even last June's stickers. And I even have some of my old tippins. So let's just dive right in. We're gonna set myself up um, for great success. We're gonna talk about goals because I'm still diving into mine. Um, I have my 4th of July ready, so I am ready for that. But look out for that goal, for the how I do my goal pages. And maybe, you know what, I'll have that be tomorrow's video, so be looking out for that tomorrow. So um, here's my week at a glance, which was from last week. Let me show you kind of how I do my, I just love it being able to kind of color these in. This, that gray is a little dark, but it's okay. And that's what the highlighter looks like, and I absolutely love it. So I didn't go too crazy with um, washi or anything. <clears throat> but my next week at a glance, I will. So here was a Saturday and Sunday. This is today, I'm about to start filling this in just a little bit more. And there's these pages that are, because of the way the month falls, we've got that we are just, we can use. So I don't know, I think I may be putting in here some more things, so be looking out for my video tomorrow on what I decided to do with those. So here's the current week in a, at a glance and I'm loving my stickers. I'm loving the washi here. Um, we've got the 4th of July. Um, I'm just jotting down the things I know I'm going to be doing. So I am working out in the morning. And then here's something else I need to do. I decided that I'm going to not bake my cake in advance because our weekend is actually very, really busy. So I'm going to make my flag cake bake it today. <clears throat> um, everyone here at five. So everyone is going to be here at five. That's going to be fun. And then I have an official eating plan that I have to follow, which is very similar to what I'm already doing, but I want to be really strategic with certain foods on certain days. So I need to, to um, make sure I get certain vitamins. So I'm gonna be starting that officially have my Tuesday be my Sunday. So I'm actually doing like a bone broth fasting day each week, one day a week. So I'm gonna start that on Tuesday. I do have my grandbabes from seven to four and only seven to four on Wednesday. And I really don't have them the rest of the week, which is really great. I can catch up on a lot of stuff. So doing that, my main thing I'm doing is, um, I'm also starting a couple other tests that I gotta take. So then I'm going to make sure that each day is YouTube video, I paint, 
and that I also journal. Planning goes without saying, but I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to have dinner written down here so I can write that in. Dinner, this is the fourth menu. And I don't need to adhere to it because it's over in my goals and lengthy. So <clears throat> that are my are my main things here. Um, for Wednesday, I have with grandbabies. I'm going to test again today on what I need to do. And then I'm going to work out after I drop the boys off to my Abigail and work out with Anna at the gym. And we have here, I'm going to test again today, last day send off my test today, get my nails done today. Um, and then Friday is another workout day with Anna. At 8.30. So again, YouTube, paint, these are my personal goals. <clears throat> YouTube, paint, journal, and plan. And it just really continues. So a lot of times I will bulk up on YouTube vids in one day and then do some editing each morning early because I wake up around 5.36 and then edit and I'm able to pump it out. So that's kind of been what I've been doing and it's been working and I'm still tweaking the perfect time to be, to be sketching and drawing uh, and all of that. And I do believe it's just the early morning hours are the best and effective way for me to get to do that journaling I like to do in the morning and the evening and then plan the night before to fill in any gaps so let's um <laughs> let's definitely um get going so I have my Monday already kind of started here but let's go ahead and move keep going and decorate up our pages <laughs>
Okay, I got it all figured out and all done for the week. As you can see, it's all ready. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I was kind of into these stars and I'm loving it. it. Turned out really, really good. So if I wanted to add some stickers, sometimes what I'll do is really I'll kind of write and script everything I wanna do first and then I'll come back and do the stickers. That was kind of the thing. So now one of the things we talked about in my last video and how to really get started with the method is that you want to go out as far as you can with the things you know you have to do and then come back the night before and fill in the gaps. So um, I, since my phone is actually, I have my phone right here. I, I don't know what the weather is per se, but I will come back and put the weather up here in the corners um, that I know of for the week. So I'll even go back to what I had jotted down here. Um, for what I wanted to accomplish this week. And I'll be using this for any kind of highlight, which I love. I'm gonna use my favorite pen. And what I do know is that I'll be up early, so. Uh, my husband and I, we have this thing where we both get up at the same time early because we've gotta take care of Molly Ollie, the dog. And I'm gonna, see, I just love that. I just love it. Um, John and I up, coffee, Molly, and talk. Okay, so this is kind of like now going to be officially our time, which now kind of swaps me out so that Molly's here, our new puppy, that my quiet time I haven't been able to do. So in the early morning, like I used to. So now I need to really kind of make up for that. So my plan is once I get her asleep again, or she's like a baby, um, then I can go into my thing. And usually my husband goes and does some things that he wants to do. So um, Molly asleep, my devotion time. And then this is where I will get going on the stuff I need to do. So specifically on Tuesday, I do have the boys. So I'm going to have to make sure that this is the day that I'm tar the time that I'm really targeting this 530. And then by 630, she would be asleep devotion time. I'm going to need to shower. And... Here, I'm actually gonna go back because I wanna make sure this PM pillar is solid and written down so that I'm really making sure I'm successful because I have to rise early and grandkids the next day. So, um, and this is gonna be a big night because this is the fourth. So I'm gonna really make sure that all hands are on deck and that my house is left clean including my daughter, Abby, who will be here with her kids and, and stuff. So I'm going to make sure everyone helps me out because I've got an early morning the next day with her kiddos at, with my grandbabies at seven. So it's kitchen cleaned, all hands on deck, okay? No one leaves until this house is cleaned. <laughs> Um, I do want to make sure my laundry is under wraps. This one might not get to its full extent done. Um, and it's probably going to be kind of a late night, but I don't want to make it too much of a late night. So it'll probably be like maybe 10, 30, 11 at the most. But I honestly, I really can't afford to do it too late. So I'm going to make sure. Okay, and the family room clean. Okay, so now that that's just set me up because I'm up and everything is really taken care of so I can shower, dress, ready for boys here. Can you not? 
So I have to start over. Ready for the boys here by, they should be here by 7.30. Okay, so they can play for little boy a bit. And I feed everybody at the same time. I'm gonna need to know what that is. This is where I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna write all this out for you, but the night before is when I'll fill in all of these gaps. And we have dinner. And my workout, I don't even have this down. devotions and then dressed and ready Eight thirty. so have breakfast ready for the boys while I'm gone I will be back home by around 10.30. Um, so I, this is why I'm baking my flag cake. So here then I will shower dressed chores. Laundry, breakfast dishes, boys take Molly out, feed Uzi, our lizard, and then the day shall go. So I'm going to fill in these gaps here in a little bit for tomorrow. So here, so I know on Tuesday that at Four, I would be taking them home. Hmm, maybe I will do my nails on this day. Then Okay, so then I will be figuring this out and I like to highlight this. Um again, this is semi what I want to do. My PM pillar, this is something that I know that what I'm doing here is laundry done.
skip the beat long. So this is the idea. I don't want to keep on going. It is going to take me so, you know, a really significant time to really put all these down and lay it all out, but it'll be, this is the, 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 the groundwork that you must lay down so that you can really set yourself up. So I like to just always do this because whenever you're going through the details of even the things that you know that you always do, this still helps impress the mind so that it just, you just really work on automatic pilot, which is what you want. You don't want to have to be waiting for the feeling or anything like that. You just, it's part of who you are and it's what you do. So clean the kitchen and the Laundry finished. This is when I listen to my favorite podcast or YouTube. And then I will, um, I always like to turn down the bed and take off makeup. Um, family room picked up. And um, this is where I journal and go over my plans for the next day to bed by 10. So I will continue to kind of do this, whereas there'll be variables and, you know, a lot of variance within my week of what I'm going to um, accomplish. And so I hope that this is kind of... Um, I always kind of want to give you a, a look into how my thought process is when I'm going in there. I think that making sure that meals are accounted for, even if it's just for you so that you eat right, or if you are if you have children, then this helps you be organized. Um, it's just amazing as you keep on going, the ideas you have and things you have. Another thing that I do before I let you go, when I do work in my notebook, I have a video on this. I use this as a brain dumping system before I um, before I even do this. This is like a running list of things I want to do. And then what I'll do is I'll go through here, pick and choose, and sprinkle them within my week. And don't over don't overdo it on these. Don't like do too much. Be really reasonable here so that you actually can do it. Or split some things up that are large into smaller pieces throughout your week. So in this case, shooting for the moon is not really a good idea when there's some hardcore, um, you know, things you need to really kind of get done in the home or, or likewise in any area. That way you don't, you can actually get it done and gain some traction and feel good about it and keep going. Um, so make sure you do do that. This is a really great idea so that you do get all of it brain dumped out of your mind of things you do want to do. You can keep adding to it as you remember some more. And then take a look at this every week when you plan so that all month long you can accomplish all of these. It's, it's awesome. I do it. This is how I roll and how I get it done. So anyways, girls, thanks for joining me today with my plan with me. Um, and until next time we're together. Bye.